It seems like everyone is trying to form and stick to new, better, and healthier habits. So what's failing? Why aren't our habits better already? In this video, I detail three science-backed solutions to help you form and stick to your new habit. As a stress physiologist and professional speaker, I work with a lot of highly accomplished people that despite all of their successes, still struggle with sticking to new healthy habits. The game changer comes when we break down the science behind how habits form and hack our way to doing things differently. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and bell now to be notified every time I post a new video about how to lead and live a more authentic, fearless life. Researchers from MIT found that habits are neurological loops in our brain that consist of three basic components. The cue, you see a social media notification. The routine, you click into the app. And the reward, you get a burst of dopamine from knowing what that notification was about. Ooh, I love dopamine. The first step to establishing better habits begins with the cue. Researcher Peter Galwitzer found that by planning and writing down when and where people were going to establish this new habit, they were significantly more likely to stick with it. For example, if my new habit is to read more, I might reframe it with an if-then to help my brain understand and recognize the cue differently. So if I sit down on the couch at night, that's the cue, then I will pick up a book. Now that I've reframed my read more habit with a cue for context, I'm more likely to be triggered when I sit down on the couch. Good start. Step two in forming and sticking to new habits is addressing the routine portion of the neurological loop. You already have a ton of routines throughout your day that you're likely not even consciously aware of. Like you check your phone when you first wake up or you brush your teeth at night. You have that morning cup of coffee while you read the news. Whatever it is that your routines are, we can actually take advantage of these through a concept called habit stacking. This is made popular by James Clear in his book, Atomic Habits. So here's how it works. We link a new behavior that we want to establish to a habit that we already have. For example, before I brush my teeth, I will meditate for one minute. Or after I lay down in my bed, I will read for 10 minutes. Using the for and or after to link a new habit with an already established one helps to solidify the new routine. What new habit are you trying to build? Let us know in the comments below. It counts as writing it down, which is a great first step. What other habits might you link it to with a before or after? Finally, we get to the reward portion of the habit neurological loop. Stanford behavioral psychologist BJ Fogg has found the one thing that helps people stick to new habits more than anything else. Are you ready for it? Celebrate. A break. It's celebration. Celebrating right after you complete your habit triggers the reward pathway, which stimulates you to feel better and starts the cycle of the habit itself becoming intrinsically rewarding. Fogg suggests that habits aren't about repetition or frequency or fairy dust. It's all about emotions. Emotions create habits. So if you want your new habit to stick, start celebrating. Here are a few ways he suggests you start. Do a physical movement. Thumbs up, fist pump, clapping, a victory dance. Y'all already know that's my favorite, right? Say something encouraging out loud to yourself, like, Awesome, bingo, good going, great job. Or imagine a roaring crowd and smile back at their applause. Thanks guys, thanks. Yeah. If you could use a little more accountability and tips to better understand your own habits, I'd love to help you move to a more confident, authentic space to live more, fear less. Reach out to me at info at rebeccaheist.com and let's schedule a call to talk, no charge, about how I can help you to become your most powerful, authentic self. Thanks for watching. If you are enjoying this content, I suspect that you are hungry for more solutions to the problems like bad habits, imposter syndrome, and stress. So check out a few of my other videos while you're here. And please do me the favor of subscribing and liking and sharing these videos so that more people like you can find them and so that you don't miss any more of the upcoming content. Until next time, live more, fear less.